Hello everyone. In this video, I am going to discuss about arrays in C programming. To declare the arrays, different methods are there. This is the first method. The first line of the program is including the header file. Here, I am including stdio.h header file. Next, we are writing the entire program inside the main function. So, this is declaring the main function. And inside this open and closed curly brace only, the entire program we have to write. Next, I am declaring one array. So, this array is integer type. And this open and closed square brackets is the indication for declaring the array. Here, size of the array is not declared. So, that means any number of values of integer type you can store in this array. And all the values must be there inside this open and closed forward brackets. In this way, we can define the array. Now, what are values I have stored in array? Those values I am going to print here. Here, the main advantage of array is instead of storing one value in one variable, we can store multiple values in the same variable. That is the main advantage of array. Suppose if you are not using arrays to store value 10, we have to use one variable m1. So, m2 is storing 20. m3 variable we have to use for storing the third value 30. Then this fourth value we have to store in another variable m4 50. Something like in this way to store four values, four different variables we have to use. So here suppose four variables is okay. Suppose you are storing the marks of 70 students, then 70 variables we have to use. Instead of doing like this, if you declare an array, all these 70 student marks we can store in a single variable. That is the main advantage of arrays. Okay. Now we have stored four values in this array. Now how to print those values? So here in the array, the location of the first value we are always indicating with 0. Then this is 0. This second one is 1. This third one position is 2. Fourth one is 3. That means four values are there means the location starts from, from 0 and with 3. Automatically we will get the four values. So that means this 10 you can retrieve by writing m of 0 is nothing but 10. Okay. m of 1 is 20. In this way we can retrieve the values from the array and we can print. Okay. You just observe here. Print it backslash n for new line. Printing the array values. So here from next line onwards I am printing this array value something like that. I am displaying one text. Next, I am taking one more printf statement. Element 1. Element 1 means first element. Colon. That is of integer type percent %d. M of 0. M of 0 means automatically you will get 10. Value 10 will be displayed here. For second value, printf backslash and element 2. M of 1. 20 will be displayed here. Similarly, 3 means 30 will be displayed here. 4 means 50 will be displayed here. Okay, something in this way. Suppose if you are storing 10 values here, you can write 10 printf statements. Okay. Suppose if you are storing 70 values, so instead of writing 70 printf statements here like this, we can use a looping function. Okay. About that looping function, I will discuss in the coming slide. Okay. Here, just I am introducing arrays. How to store multiple values in the same variable. So the advantage of storing multiple values in the same variable is so here you can avoid this complexity in declaring the variables okay four or five variables you can declare like this suppose thousand students are there in your organization all these thousand student marks you have to access then declaring thousand variables is practically difficult that's why if you simply go for array all the thousand students data you can store in the same variable Okay, that is the main advantage of using arrays. If you observe the output, output will be displayed like this. Okay, after execution, element 1, percent D, in place of percent D, you will get M of 0 means 10. 10 will be displayed here, similarly 20, 30, 40, 30, 50, something in this way you will get the output. Next, we will see how to declare the arrays in second method. Okay, so first line is just include statement. Next, inside the main function, I am writing the entire program. 
so this main function is written in a integer type that's why return zero statement i am writing here this is the standard pattern of the program then i am declaring an array integer type with size 4 so that means maximum number of elements i can store in this array is only 4 okay suppose if you store two values no problem you can store one value also it's not a problem maximum is 4 beyond 4 you can't store suppose it's the value is 1000 if the value is 1000 up to 1000 you can store okay something in this way this is the second way of declaration so if you declare something like this in the initial statement itself you can't uh, insert all those values so that value insertion part we have to do here inserting the values we have to do like this m of 0 is 10 m of 1 that means second element is 20 this is third element 30 fourth element 15 okay so in the previous case we have declared like this no in the previous case we have declared like this 10 20 30 50 okay so here size is not mentioned this entire thing we have done here but here this is the second way of declaring here we are mentioning only size all the values we are inserting here okay so if you do like this we have one advantage dynamic input we can take that i'll discuss in the coming slides okay in this way we are inserting the values now i want to print the values then you can use the standard print of statements just like the previous case so printing the array values and just printing one statement then printf element 1 is m of 0 10 element 2 is 20 element 3 i am going to get here is 30 next fourth element is 50 something in this way we can print the output will be something like this this is the output of the program okay now the next case is taking the dynamic input okay this is the third way of declaring the array here we are going for dynamic input as usual first statement is include statement then main function i am writing so this is returning integer 0 then i am declaring one array of size 100 and this n variable i am taking to decide the size of the array this is for size of array this is for size of array this i is for looping this i value value i am going to use in a for loop next this n value size is there now that i am going to collect now so i am entering size of the array scanf percentage this is of integer type now i am going to collect the n value the error n value may be 1 the n value may be 1 maybe 2 maybe 10 up to 100 i can take maximum is 100 i can't take 1 at 1 okay maximum array size is only 100 okay 1 to 100 i can take so that's why this n must be in between 1 to 100 now i am inserting the values into this array okay dynamically i want to take the input so for that i am taking one for loop for i equal to 0 because always the array value starts from 0 no so that's why i am taking i equal to 0 so i less than n so i less than n means less than or equal to not required here okay less than is sufficient i plus plus i am taking now observe here this is the open component closed parenthesis for for loop next printf backslash n enter element percent d percent d means element 1 element 2 something like that i am writing now so here element 1 i have to get for that this person d colon then so what is the first element i want i have to collect is actually zeroth location into the zeroth location i have to enter but that is the first element that's the i plus 1 i am writing here scan of person d ampersand m of i this first element is entering into zeroth location suppose here if you observe i equal to 0 so that means uh, here i am going to get uh, value of 0 okay value of 0 is some 10 the 10 i can enter but this is the first element inside that array if you observe the array 
సపోజ్ సరే సైజ్ ఈజ్ ఫోర్ దిస్ టెన్ ఈజ్ ది ఫస్ట్ ఎలిమెంట్ దిస్ వీఆర్ కాలింగ్ యాజ్ జీరో దిస్ ది ఫస్ట్ ఎలిమెంట్ దట్ వీఆర్ కాలింగ్ యాజ్ జీరో లొకేషన్ ఎలిమెంట్ ఓకే సో దట్స్ వై హియర్ ఇన్స్టెడ్ ఆఫ్ డిస్ప్లేయింగ్ దిస్ యాజ్ జీరో ఐఎమ్ డిస్ప్లేయింగ్ దట్ యాజ్ ఫస్ట్ ఎలిమెంట్ దట్స్ వై ఐ ప్లస్ వన్ ఐఎమ్ రైటింగ్ హియర్ ఓకే సో ఇట్ ఈస్ ఆస్కింగ్ టు ఎంటర్ ది ఫస్ట్ ఎలిమెంట్ so first element we are entering something like this okay next suppose n is 4 n is 4 then here this particular loop will be executed for four times because in the first case i equal to 0 that means i less than 4 i equal to 0 means here i 0 less than 4 only it will execute this statement okay then again i plus plus means i will be 1 in the next iteration i equal to 1 i equal to 1 and it is 1 less than 4 only it is true that's why it will enter into the this particular loop it is asking to enter it is asking to enter percent d means integer what is that integer i plus 1 what is the value of i i equal to 1 1 plus 1 means 2 enter the element 2 element 2 i am entering as 20 submit then i plus plus i plus plus means i equal to 2 now 2 is less than 4 then again it will ask enter enter what is value i i plus 1 i plus means third element this is third element okay so i am entering 30 enter 30 will be collected then i equal to 3 3 less than 4 only 3 less than 4 only then it will display enter fourth element because i plus 1 no fourth element it will write then what is the fourth element 50 enter then i equal to 4 i equal to 4 means the condition is 4 less than 4 means this is not true this is false okay less than or equal to there means it will be true less than means it is the false condition 4 is not less than 4 it is equal to 4 so that's why the condition will become false it will come out of the loop this particular loop will end here the next statement comes then printing okay till now values are collected now we have to print those values for printing those values again i'll use the for loop now i'm just i'm writing one statement that printing the values that means in the output we can get that printing the values is started printing the values this statement statement this particular statement will be displayed here here on what we are going to print the values something like that the information will be displayed in the output now i am going to write a for loop for printing the same values these are the open and closed parentheses for for loop here i am using printf statement printf backslash n element so what is the value of i now i equal to 0 now i equal to 0 suppose n value equal to 4 already we have collected n value here n value equal to 4 means 0 less than 4 it is true it will enter into the loop that is element here percent d percent d is nothing but i plus 1 what is the value of i 0 0 plus 1 means 1 element 1 colon again percent d what is the percent d value here now second value m of 0 because i value is 0 no so here m of 0 we have to get m of 0 means 10 here m of 0 that we have to display that is equal to 10 that 10 will be displayed here okay this is first percent d this percent d which is i plus 1 this is the second percent d that is m of 0 okay then i plus plus i plus plus means now i value will become 1 i value 1 1 means i less than 4 it is true again it will enter into the loop element element percent d which is i plus 1 what is the value of i 1 1 plus 1 means 2 is equal to now it will display m of 1 i value 1 no m of 1 m of 1 it will display what is the m of 1 value we have entered 20 the 20 will be displayed here okay next i equal to i plus 1 means 2 2 less than 
4 it is true then element 2 plus 1 is 3 element 3 equal to here m of 3 we have to m of 2 we have to display what is m of 2 value 30 so that 30 value will be displayed here next i equal to i plus 1 that means i equal to 3 3 less than 4 it is true then element 3 plus 1 i plus 1 is 3 plus 1 that means fourth element is equal to m of 3 that is 50 that 50 will be displayed here then i plus plus i plus plus means i equal to 4 4 less than 4 means this condition is false this condition is false so then it will not enter into this loop it will come out of the loop okay then so the end of the program return 0 the program will end the output you will get is something like this so enter size of the array it is asking now size of the array we are entering as 4 okay then it will ask you to enter the input enter first element first element i am entering 10 okay next it will enter this 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 particular this particular portion is now executing now it is asking to enter the second element second element 20 enter third element 30 enter fourth element 40 enter here i am taking in this uh, example i am taking 50 or 40 or 50 you can take or you can consider this as 50 50 enter okay then output will be displaying like this first element 10 second 20 then 30 then 50 something like that it will display the output as i explained here this is for output purpose so that is resulting like this in this way we can collect the dynamic input into an array so here the main advantage is multiple values you can store in the same variable for example you want to find the average of marks of all the students in a class then 70 students are there 70 variables it is very difficult to declare so that's why you just take an array for marks all the 70 students data you can enter like this using this looping statement you can enter all the seven student data then automatically you can display find the average and display that in the second loop okay something like this suppose you want to find the average then simply you can do like this you can just add some more variables like sum and average here so here you add one statement sum equal to zero initially you write uh, sum as zero then here you can add one statement like sum equal to sum plus m of i you can write then total sum you will get here after the end of the for loop you add one statement like average is equal to sum divided by n then automatically you will get the average then you can get that average printed using this printf statement printf backslash n average is colon percent d and the double quotes here avg that's all that average will be displayed here in this way you can take the dynamic input and do some uh, calculations using arrays thanks for watching this video if you like this video please share this video to all your friends and subscribe to my channel